It is that time of the year, guys. The time for the Uniqlo haul. What is up, beautiful people? Tim DeSaint here. And if you've been watching my channel for, well, for any amount of time, really, you know I'm a big fan of Uniqlo. And they recently came out with their U Fall Winter 2020 collection, which I have to say, I wasn't as impressed as I was last year. I made a pretty big order and no, unfortunately, I'm still not sponsored by them, guys. We haven't pulled it off yet, but I tried a lot of their collection and I ended up returning most of the pieces. I think they changed up the fit on some of their items, especially the sweaters, but basically a lot of it just ended up not really fitting properly. But with that said, I did still find a couple of gems, a couple of diamonds in the rough that do hit the nail on the head. And today we're going over my compilation, my top 10 Uniqlo fall winter pieces this year, not just from their U collection, but from everything they have. And of course, all of the fits will be linked in the description as usual. Let's get into it. First up, we have the 100% extra fine merino wool turtleneck. It's part of the core Uniqlo collection. It's here every year, but it's too good not to mention. It's affordable, fits well, and an all around super versatile pick that can actually be a great base layer for many of the other pieces we're going to talk about. My most worn color is by far the black, but they have it in many different colors. Brown, red, and navy are some of my other go-tos. One important thing to mention though, I tried the off-white and it is quite transparent, so that is the only colorway that I wouldn't necessarily recommend. Next up, the U Corduroy Padded Blues On Jacket. Hopefully I pronounced that right. 100% my favorite jacket from the U Collection this year. It comes in dark gray like I have here, which I love, and also in orange if you want more of a pop. You can rock this just as easily with joggers and an oversized tee for a super casual, sporty outfit or dress it up a bit with some trousers. To be quite honest, I wasn't that excited when I first saw it online, but after trying it on, seeing the cut of the garment and feeling the material, I was sold. It has a bit of a cropped body, but the sleeves are quite big and we're seeing a lot of throwback these days to some of the older decades of fashion and I'm all for it. I got the U fleece shirt jacket in brown. I love how they mix the fleece with a military inspired piece. It makes for an interesting item that fits both the shirt category and the jacket category. The one complaint I would make is that the material inside the shirt is actually quite itchy on bare skin. And for that reason, I debated returning it, but it turned out to be fine when wearing long sleeves. And since it's clearly a cold weather piece, I'll usually always have a long sleeve underneath, so I kept it. In this colorway, I would definitely lean towards pairing it with other light shades of brown. And yes, I pulled out the white trousers, which I don't wear very often, especially in fall winter, but I thought it looked really nice with this overshirt. The U Arism oversized t-shirt has been tied in first place for my favorite oversized t-shirt along with Everlane's relaxed premium weight tee because it is so damn good. What I like most about this one and what makes it different is the fabric, which is super smooth and almost has a tiny bit of shine to it, giving it a very modern, clean look. It comes in many different colors, but the ones I wear most are definitely black and white. Given the fabric weight and how the garment flows, I personally prefer to wear it untucked. I couldn't recommend this t-shirt enough. If you're in the market for an oversized tee, I definitely suggest checking it out, along with Everlane's one, which I actually showed in depth in another video on styling oversized tees. I'm putting five and six together just because they go perfectly as a pair. The U sweatpants and U hoodie. They're basically wider, more relaxed versions of the standard Uniqlo sweatpants and hoodie. I especially like the sweatpants. Unfortunately, last I checked, they may be out of stock right now. I'm not sure, but I'll still link them so you can check for your country. So I washed both of these and I'm not sure if the hoodie shrunk a little bit because the sweatpants didn't, but it does feel a little smaller than before unless I'm hallucinating. But if I were to go back, I would probably get it one size bigger, just a hoodie. So it's a little longer and baggier in the body. Overall, I do like this set though. I think the colors are quite original and given the times, I'm always down for more cozy outfit options. Next up, we have the U striped shirt, which comes in a boxy oversized fit. If like me, you've been spending a little too much time watching TikToks and seeing all the fashion TikTokers rocking oversized shirts, then you will love this shirt. 
You can really go opposite ways with this, super casual with joggers or a lot more formal with smart trousers, and you'll get a completely different feel to your outfit. It comes in three colorways, white and gray, black and gray, or pink and white, which is the one I got. I felt like my wardrobe just needed a little more pink, you know? I love the design of this fleece jacket, and the burgundy just pops. Wear it over an all black turtleneck and trousers look for a chic, elegant outfit, great for a date night, or just anytime you want to look sharp without sacrificing warmth. Again though, just like the fleece shirt jacket, the inside is quite itchy on your skin. I've had some of you guys tell me that on Instagram as well, so not something you can wear over a t-shirt, but if you know you're going to be rocking long sleeves anyways, solid, solid jacket choice in my opinion. Second to last, but the list is definitely in no particular order because these pants are amazing, the corduroy EZY trousers are where it's at. I actually got these from a previous season, but it seems they've made it into the permanent collection because they are still here this year, just in slightly different colorways, so you won't find them in this mid shade of brown anymore, but they do have them in a lighter tan color and in a dark brown as well. Here I'm rocking the corduroy with some simple Doc Martens, a black turtleneck, and actually the fleece shirt jacket that we talked about earlier goes beautifully with this outfit in my opinion. Last but not least, we have the soft touch mock neck long sleeve t-shirt. That was a mouthful. I think this is a great alternative for when you want something a little more casual than a turtleneck while still getting some of that sweet high neck. It can look great on its own, especially with the trendier, more modern outfits, and here I paired it with some high-waisted, wide-fit black trousers and these chunky sneakers. Again, my go-to colors are black and white, because once you find something you like, no reason not to stick to it. And when it comes to standalone tops, I just find myself gravitating towards either black or white 90% of the time. Hope you enjoyed this little haul guys. These were my top 10 Uniqlo fall winter picks this year. As always, everything is linked below. And let me know which one of these were your favorites. Are you more corduroy, fleece, sleek and minimal without too much texture? What is your vibe? I'm curious to know, hit me up in the comments. And on that note, I wish you a beautiful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Keep dressing with intention and remember, you are beautiful and you are amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. The saint here, and if you've been well for any of the order, and no, you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>